Hi, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And um, I will be representing Capricorn in this reading. So uh, cross watch watchers are welcome, um, but I will be representing Capricorn. All right, here we go. Getting into the energy now for Capricorn. Getting into the energy for Capricorn, the Capricorn consciousness, the Capricorn collective. <laughs> Here we go. We have the Ten of Wands um, with a little energy around it. Jeez. Ace of Swords. There's a chunk of cards that came out. I'm going to just take the Ace of Swords, put the rest back. Let's see how the rest of the cards fall, my friends. We have the Moon energy here. Interesting energy with Ace of Swords and the Moon. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. That's here at the end. Ace of Pentacles. Oh gosh. Two Aces here for you this month, Capricorn. That is nice to see. see what frequencies Capricorn uh, is going to hold. We have the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups energy. Ten of Swords. And the last one, Ten of Wands. Some endings here and a new beginning. How, how nice. Um, let's go ahead and clarify just really briefly. We have two, um, we have two aces, and we have these two tens. We have the moon. Um, let's do a, a few, a pull a few clarification cards here, and um, I might clarify a little bit more after we're done. But I want to pull at least one for these aces here. Let's go ahead and pull a card for the ace of swords. Let's dig down. Oh gosh, ten of pentacles. Oh geez. How nice. And let's go into the Ace of Pentacles here. Ace of Pentacles energy. We have the star with the lovers. I'm going to put these up on top. We'll get, we'll pull them down into the reading when we get to that, when we get to that space. You know what? I don't want to cover up that Ace at all. So I'm going to just move this, these cars over here. We'll just move them over here and let's go ahead and get in. And before I start, I want to just make a quick announcement that I have intro I have introduced two new services. Uh, it's in the informa in the in the video description box below, but they are Zoom, um, a live call option. So if you want to have a live reading with me, or you have a bunch of friends that would like to have. Um, a reading with me all together in a group. I have discounted rates for that. So if that's if that's something you're interested in, I do. I am offering that now. All right, my friends, let's go ahead and get into this reading. Uh, we start off the month with uh, uh, with Capricorn um, in the Ace of Swords energy. It's connected in with the Ten of Pentacles. So there's definitely some sort of a um, I would say a, a long term plan that's being established or. A, uh, a decision that's being made is connected into the Ten of Pentacles. So there's something that's very long term about this energy. It could be connected into a very abundant plan, a, a plan of increasing income. Um, maybe there's a big communication that's coming through um, that's connecting into a new job because we do have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, if you are job hunting and you're resonating with this energy, then you could very well get a message at the beginning of the month and have a new job by the end of the month. It could be. And it's that kind of an energy. It's like the, the message, the decision is made or the message is received or the clarity in the plan is developed. And by the end of the month, it looks like there is some sort of incoming incoming money or there could be some resources here for you. But definitely uh, a money that starts out with clarity, with a yes energy, and a month that ends with some kind of ka in the bank account, which I believe is something that m most of us would be quite relieved to see this kind of energy. So Capricorn, um, I know that you guys are the hard, hardest workers. You guys have worked so hard. You've been pulling through all of these hard months, and we're we're seeing now some of this 
uh, work that you've been engaging in, some of these efforts that you've been really um, in the trench on, we're seeing some uh, light shining in now, which, which is really beautiful. Again, this is a general reading, so uh, it, you know it, it, you will know if this is resonating with you. So, um, at the beginning of the month, for the, maybe the, work, the first the third of the month, the first week, week and a half of the month, you're in the frequency of the Queen of Cups. So you really are aware. Okay, uh, um, it's like that dialogue is already coming in. You're very aware of the of the details here. You're aware of the purpose of this change, of this communication. And the Queen of Cups really does, like when you get into the Queen of Cups energy, when you get into what the yin feels most nurturing and most healthy for her, financial security is very important for her. Also, um, a nurturing sanctuary space, uh, healthy food, um, uh, a loving companionship, those things the Queen of Cups really does does find to be um, healthy for her as she continues to fill her cup because we know that the queen of cups energy the queen of cups soul it is most fulfilled when when it is full of love and then it can be giving of that love to the people around her that's when she's most fulfilled and and most uh engaged in her life and so we have you here in the queen of pentacles you're very aware of this um, clarity that you have of the plan or of the communication and there is an energy of long-term improvement here um, there is an energy of gentleness in life um, enjoyment of pursuits uh, and the, it, this is quite this is quite a victory i would have to say this ace of swords that's here is a very nice a very nice progress very nice incoming energy connected into long-term betterment um whether that's financial, whether it's relationship that's here, whether it's some sort of resources that you've connected into or help that you've connected into, it could even be a new home. I mean, it's, that is connected um, into the Ten of Pentacles as well. So definitely a, a big blast of energy that connects into the brain at the beginning of the month that inspires one to continue forward. Ace of Swords comes in and it does help you to move forward then. Um, what, without the Ace of Swords, it's really hard to know, okay, is it for me? Is this good for me? Is this is this appropriate? Um, am I even invited? You know, that's why with the Ace of Swords is so important. It, it brings the togetherness. It brings the, the plan so that there can be some, some momentum forward. So um, this is really good news uh, for Capricorn. Now this, I, I keep hearing the word Pisces. Um, you could have some connection to the Pisces reading. I just did the Pisces reading as well. I just kept hearing the word Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. And it was coming through so strong that I almost said it a couple of times, but I didn't. So um, there could be a connect. And there's the moon energy. Oh my gosh. There is like a Pisces quality here for some of you. Um as you're moving through the month, so I'm, I'm moving now, and the energy kind of shifts here. So I'm going to shift this away just a little bit. The energy shifts. It looks like for some of you, uh, so some of you are, um, there's something that's happening that you might not have expected, and it is, it, it sheds some light. It sheds some, that's the moon. It will shed some light on something that you've been trying to do, that you've been working at, and I think that it helps you to find a new way forward. Whatever this information is that's coming out, it, it helps make sense of why it's been so dang hard. Some of you have been uh, pushing up against uh, some sort of challenge. And with the Ten of Swords, this information that's coming forward um, is going to help you to find a way to do it. I think you're going to either uh, change what you're doing. You're going to maybe say, you know what, I'm going to table this until later. It just feels like you're, the Ten of Swords means like, okay, I realize I better change what I'm doing. Maybe I should table it. Maybe I should just stop. Um, whatever this information is, it helps to explain why it's been so hard. And that, this is something that I don't know if it's going to really impact all of you. I feel like there's a smaller group that's going to be connecting into this energy. But in so many ways, this is so good because when we're in the Ten of Swords energy, we want to get out of that energy as soon as possible. As soon as we realize we're banging our head against a brick wall and we realize like the brick wall doesn't care. The brick wall doesn't care if we bang our head upon it, but it hurts our head, right? Once we kind of get into that space, we're like, okay, yeah, 
you know, th this isn't good for me, you know, something like that. There's something that's going to happen here for some of the Capricorns, and this could be connected to that Pisces energy as well. I heard it come through again. So let's go into the moon energy and see if we can see what that is to see if we can get a little bit more information on what that is that's coming forward, what kind of qualities it has. It help us understand the moon energy. Help us understand this moon energy. Um, Wheel of Fortune. It's something that helps you to move forward into something else. Um, it, 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 it just clears up, it clears up the situation so much that it allows you to move forward. It, it really does help you to move forward into something new. You, you know, it's kind of like, um, yeah, I, I don't, I, I think those of you that are in this energy, you will understand this. Let's pull it one more card before I move forward on the moon energy. Remember, the Ten of Swords is about releasing something, surrendering, giving in. We hate to do that. We really hate to do that as a human soul. But um, when you get this information and when you, there, there's some sort of um, something you just didn't hear before, or you weren't told, or the information wasn't available, something like that. Let's see if there's another card that connects in to this moon energy. That might be it. That might be it. That might be all what the spirit wants to say. Um, you've been thinking about doing something new. Some of you could just be thinking about doing something new. You could be watching someone else doing something and you could be thinking, okay, how is that person doing this? How is that person doing this? So there, there's something that you might have been working on doing, but now that this information is here and you know uh, more about it, um, whatever you've been watching going on, I think that you are realizing like the magician is a one and only kind of energy, right? It's, you know, magicians come few and far between and they hold, um, I'm not saying that it's not for you. I'm just saying that there, there's something here that you're in. The magician can be quite tricky, right? I'm not, I'm wondering if this magician is somebody that's like uh, a little bit of a trickster uh, because it's connected with the page of swords. And, um, and it could be that this person feels like they're one of a kind because I got that phrase coming in. And from your perspective, this is a person that might be a little bit deceiving or might not be fully in 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 a place that you could maybe respect. It's almost I almost feel like you could be losing a little bit of respect for the magician energy. Could be someone around you doing something, doing something special, doing something very exciting. But when you get to know it a little bit more, you, you're kind of saying, ah, oh, yeah, I'm not so impressed anymore. Some, there's something that's that's happening that helps you to move forward with, with like a, a freed soul kind of thing. Okay, let's go ahead and move forward. Now, we're moving forward through the month, and we move into the Ten of Wands. Now, see, there's some endings here. It's like, it's like people are being freed up to move forward with less burden, with less hardship, with less obligation, something like that. Um, you're moving, we're moving now Pisces energy into the Ten of Wands. This is as we move into the end of the month, you know, the last week, last week and a half. And the Ten of Wands is when we realize, Capricorn, that, um, that, that there's something that has been too long and too hard and too much. And the reason why we usually get into the Ten of Wands is because we've been willing. We've been willing. We've been eager to help. We know how hard it is when people struggle. And so over time, we, we accrue um, not money. Well, sometimes we do in the Ten of Wands. We accrue obligation. We accrue hardship. We accrue burden, right? And those hardships and these obligations, these burdens sometimes can be, uh, you know, placed on our shoulders and they really aren't ours to carry. We might have sometimes said, yeah, I'll do that for you. I'm happy to do that for you. And then what happens? It's our job from now on. That's not right. So it looks like um, Capricorn is in a uh, in a process of kind of clarifying to themselves. All right, what truly is my what are my priorities? 
What are my priorities? What are my interests? What is it that I'm doing that really has a reward for me? And the rest of it is, I think you guys are looking at it and saying, okay, this can go, that's hers, that's his, not my job, pushing back. You know, it's like you're free. This for, I would say for Capricorn this month, is about stepping into some new plan that is really moving forward and at the same time letting go of some old projects, some old obligations, some old ideas, some old standards for ourselves, um, Capricorn, and moving forward into the Ace of Pentacles, which is opportunity, improvement, acceleration um, of income or of... Um, uh, uh, homemaking in some way. It connects into money, property, assets, um, enjoyments of, um, of, of financial pursuits, all those, th all those things. And the Ace of Pentacles could be connected in with a relationship. So we could have a relationship that is blooming here. We can have a new job. We could have a new business, a new hobby, but it connects in with, um, forward movement and changes and improvements in either income or property improvements in some way. Now the Ace of Pentacles connects in with the lovers and the star energy. So uh, it could be that most of you here are in this um, with a, a, some of you could be stepping into a new relationship. Some of you are working with other people. This Ace of Pentacles for, for most of you will include your skills in working with other people, making good balanced decisions. Um, it, it's connecting in with your social skills, uh, your abilities to work with and engage with one another. There could be a romantic relationship here and the star energy really is reaching for that dream, stepping into that destiny, knowing when something is yours to explore, knowing when something appeals to your raw, honest, authentic self, right? You're kind of reaching in into the greater, the greater, the more abundant version of yourself and, and stepping into that version is, is what is coming forward. So we do have, um, some real nice progress here uh, for this group of Capricorns and some old riffraff, some old obligations, some old ways of thinking of oneself um, moving moving out. We do have the Page of Cups here too as well. So it, it does look like there is something very nice. Now this Page of Cups is in the in the place that connects into the outside of you, right? This 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 uh, placement right here, and we have the Page of Cups here. So you could be getting a some really nice compliments this month. There could be a gift coming your way. There could be a beautiful message that um, you, that your heart receives. Um, so this Ten of Wands is connecting in in with the Page of Cups. So uh, it feels like this Ten of Wands is going to be you like really prioritizing what is your interest, what is beneficial for you, and just letting the rest go. I'm not sure if it really is all that. For some of you, it might be. Um, it might be harsh. Sometimes the Ten of Wands can be really hard because we have to say no to people. But but this Ten of Wands feels almost like, for most of you anyway, it's it's what you're doing with your own time, with the choices that you make, that kind of thing. It, it's a softer energy. This is a little bit more hard, this energy. This energy is a little bit more soft. And um, we do have the Page of Cups here. So I do feel like um, there, there could even be a new introduction. I, I think it's more like um, people saying to you, oh, that is wonderful. Good job. Oh, that's so inspiring. Um, oh gosh, I am just so, I am, I, I am just so excited about, it. can you send me, can you send me your website? You know, can you do this? I'm so excited about what you're doing. I'd love to see more. That's like the page of cuts energy. So, there, there is some extra encouragement out here too. This could be new love. This could be support in the community. Uh, this could be uh, even some advice that has been given, but it's given out of love. It is a connection in with the heart's, our, the heart emotion, with love, uh, with how we connect in with one another. So, uh, I just um, Capricorn this month for you is is a month of change and a month of prioritization focusing your your attention and your intensity towards um this new um idea or this new 
incoming opportunity. And then as you move out of Capricorn, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So you are uh, towards the end of the month, you're at the very end of the month, engaging in something in reality that is bringing in betterment into your life. And that is a beautiful victory. So yeah, you start the month with this clarity, with this decision, and you the middle of the month is, is about cleaning things up getting things out of the way, preparing yourself. And then the end of month is a go get them, go get them because it's, it's implementation time. It, it feels like ka-ching, ka-ching here. Um, that's dropping in at the end of the month. Wow. How exciting. How exciting. I want to go into this page of cups to see if, if there's something else here um, with this page of cups. Tell me more about this page of cups. Tell me more about this page of cups. We have the ace of wands, three aces, something exciting, something passionate, something that gets you up and out, outdoors, um, in a relationship or in a, in a new adventure. Uh, it's inspiring. It's a new, fresh spring day after a long, cold winter. You know, when we get in our cars or get on the trains um, for that those beautiful early spring days and everything seems new, it seems possible, it's beautiful. Um, that's the kind of energy that we have connected in with Ace of Wands. Um, excitement, passion, new action, three aces for you this month, uh, this month Capricorn. All right, my friends, I am going to pull some sticker cards. We're going to pull some uh, random images that connect in with this. So if you would like to see more, if you would like to see what kind of validation comes forward, um, I am going to pull those cards and I might even pull a couple of shadow cards because we're connecting in with some of these um, 10 energies here. So um, those of you that aren't interested in the sticker cards you uh, and you're still here, uh, thank you for being here. It, it was a real pleasure to be in your energy, in the energy of Capricorn, and um, I appreciate uh, being able to read for you. Let's go ahead and pull, we'll just go through, um, we'll, we'll go, there's a lot of them. These are the, the cards, that, they just have images on them, and I think sometimes they can be important to people. It just kind of depends if you like this or not, but I will go through the deck one time, shuffle it one time, and then I'll go through, through the shadow cards too and see if there's any shadowy energy here that's connected in to the moon, right? Um, that's in the shadows, and then we have Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands. All right, so let's go ahead and look to see um, if there's any images here that connect in with all of these aces, or at least one of these aces. Let's see what we have here. Is there anything that connects in? We have Adventure Awaits, Away We Go. Now, that didn't come out. It just flipped over, but it's definitely showing itself. Is there anything else for Capricorn? wants to come out on the table. I might not have any cards that have the images on them, you know. I don't have everything here, just... And one more. All right, so we have four. Let's see what we've got here. There are so many of these, I have to be careful when I put them back, but they don't go sliding all over the place. Okay, so we have, the first one that came out was Deadline. Looks like some of you have a new project. You could have a new client. You could have a new, um, a new, a new job, some of you, but it looks like for some of you, there's a deadline here. Um, there's a date or something um, that, that this will begin, possibly. Um, so it does connect in with your goals, um, and there's a deadline and a to-do, and there's a project. So that connects in with some of you. Um, then we have the, um, like the social engagement kind of energy here. Um, girls just want to have fun, chatting, pals, excitement, best friends, that kind of energy. Um, we also have the emergency energy, fire truck. This could be fiery energy, passion. Um, and th this is a, a kind of energy that connects in with fire in, in, in an energetic sense. When the, when the sirens, you know, it can, that's, you know, when the sirens blare, how do we respond? <laughs> how do the firemen respond with fire? So we have the ladder, we have the Dalmatian, we have the hatchet. 
We have all of that. And then the last one is love. Love. Love and abundance, support, caring, compassion, romance. So those are the energies. And let's look and see if there's a shadow energy that wants to come out for the 10 energies in the moon. Let's see if there's any shadow energies here for, for Capricorn. Are there any shadows here for Capricorn? It doesn't have to mean that it's your shadow, but it can connect maybe to the moon or to someone else around you. The repeat confessor. You might have someone around you that it has no problem uh, saying that they're sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Or they could just do things and then say, oh my gosh, I'm so bad. I shouldn't have done that. And they could just do that over and over again. You could have a person who's made a mistake twice. Um, you have an overly optimistic response syndrome that didn't come out. But, um, you know, when somebody says, oh, yeah, live in the dream, whenever I've heard anyone say that, um, it means the opposite of living the dream. I, you mean living the nightmare? <laughs> is that what you mean? Is, is it that kind of a dream? Um, oh, somebody has a doing one more thing disease. Somebody has the doing one more thing disease. All right, so those are the two shadows that are coming out. Now, these are just my shadows and the shadows of my siblings, <laughs> the ones that I know about. Um, so don't be offended. Um, we can all do these things. Um, so we had a, a we have a, a the repeat confessor and we have the doing the one more thing disease is coming out as potential shadows. Um, all right, my friend, that is it for Capricorn. It's a pleasure reading for you, Cappies. And I think that you guys are in for a really beautiful month this month. Uh, stay strong, stay well, stay healthy, and um, yeah, good. Best wishes, good luck, and uh, I, I'll be interested. It'll be interesting to get into Capricorn energy, how to see how the energy feels then. All right, my friends, thank you very much. Have a good month, and um, I will read for you again in a few weeks. All right, thank you. <music>